Hey everybody, this is Kevin, and welcome to episode two in my build series on the 148th scale Academy Models B25. Now, I know the last video was just the unboxing and showing you the, the sprue parts and, and everything, and it's, it's gonna be difficult for me to film while I build, so what I'd like to do is just do these periodic videos where I show you the progress that I've made. And what you're looking at here is probably half a day's worth of work. Um, I actually started today cutting plastic out and putting paint and glue to the plastic. So one thing I want to point out to you, and you're probably noticing, you know, did it come that color green? No, it didn't. It came with this gray color. And so what I did was I did airbrush the interior of the fuselage. Now here's where I'll tell you what I did and I'll tell you what I think I should have done. And I'm going to ask you guys for your advice, give comments, please. in, in the, after this video and let me know how you do it. The instructions call for painting the interior a color called zinc chromate. And what it basically is, it's it's a brighter olive drab color. Um, I looked everywhere in town, I could not find zinc chromate. And I already had some regular olive drab, so what I thought I'd do is be real clever and add some yellow to my olive drab. And I think it did work as far as lightening it up. It's not as dark as a regular uh, OD green would be considered, but what I think I would do next time is instead of adding yellow to the olive drab, I think I should add some olive drab to the yellow. I think the ratio was off. I, I, I got too much OD and not enough yellow, but it is what it is. This is how it came out. There will be a distinction when I paint the outside because that's going to be pure OD as opposed to the lighter interior. Uh, but I'm curious, if you guys make up your own zinc chromate, what color combinations do you use? I'm, I'm curious to know that. Um, and one thing you, you don't know, realize is there's a lot of panels on the inside here that I glued in prior to painting. So those parts were cut out of the sprues, glued into place, and then painted over. I've just begun painting more detail on the stuff. Like for example, this little ax here, I've got the handle painted brown and the actual ax head a red color. Uh, these straps on this box I've painted black. And one thing I do want to do, and I'll do it probably later, maybe even this evening, is on some of these instruments, I think more so on this panel here, uh, you know, touching them up with some white and black and some different colors to make them look like actual instruments instead of just a dull OD color. So that's where I met on the fuselage. The interior stuff is coming along pretty nicely. Um, I'm going to save the cockpit for last because I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> Not th not that I'm good or anything, but it, I think it's it's the finest detail work that I've done thus far. So I'm, I'll save that for last. But this is the the part that will join the two halves together and act as the wing struts. These panels will stick out into the wings as the wings slide onto them, giving the wing the support. Uh, nothing too fancy about this. Just glued the panels together and then hit them with my OD <laughs> green slash yellow zinc chromate combination. So that came out very nicely. Uh, this panel here, I shouldn't say panel, but this is one of the guns from the gun turret. Uh, glued it up together. Cause they called for a little brown. I'm not sure if you can see the brown on there. And then I was a little, I wasn't sure in the colors of the gun. I painted the barrels gun steel, but I left the back half of the guns uh, like a green. So I'm going to leave it as is. I don't think I need to paint those silver or gunmetal. Um, but eh, I don't think they look too bad. So that's that. But the, the cream of the crop, the thing I'm most proud of is the cockpit. Um, I did glue everything in with the exception of the instrument panel. I glued it all together first, painted it with my zinc chromate combination. Then with a fine, uh, actually I used a toothpick, not even a brush. I used a toothpick to paint the control yokes black, uh, the little base uh, brown, and the seats brown, which kind of gives it that uh, like a interior leather cushion that would have been installed on the metal framed seating. So that's kind of a, a cool little effect. But the instrument panel itself, I want to show that off. Now, of course, that's a decal, by the way. That's not paint. <laughs> There's no way I could paint that clear. But uh, the decal came out really good. I used the decal setter. In fact, I'll show it to you right here. 
it what it does is it mark fit from Tamiya. It's decal solution. I laid it down first, then I laid the decal onto it and then squeegeed it out with a, a Q-tip. And then I went over it again with this. And what it does is it softens up the decal so it conforms to the little nubs and ridges and bumps that are on the plastic. Gives it more of a 3D effect and uh, it doesn't pop up. It actually helps wrap around the plastic parts and, and kind of mold in there better. So there's the cockpit. Uh, when the time comes, obviously, you know, parts like this will, will glue into the inside of the fuselage. And, uh, of course, when the two halves to come together, then you'll have it all in one piece. And then, of course, the clear canopy will allow you to see in there. That's why you want to paint the inside of the body as well. Because with the clear canopy, you will be able to see not only in the cockpit, but, you know, beyond the cockpit, down into the, the fuselage bay as, as well. So, uh, it didn't hurt to go ahead and spray paint the whole inside. Uh, but we're, it's coming along. Um... Don't have anything else other to uh, to report other than I will be going in and painting some of these dials and instruments with a variety of colors, some reds, whites, silvers, blacks, just to kind of make it a little more realistic. So that's where we're at on the build. Thanks for watching, and I hope you like the video. Please hit the thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment so I know you're watching, and please engage. Give me your feedback. Give me your ideas. I welcome any and all ideas. Uh, building plastic models is not my forte. It's an old hobby I used to have as a kid, but I'm getting back into it. And uh, so I've got a lot to learn. So please give me your, your feedback on any ideas you have. So with that, I'll uh, let you go and uh, look forward to doing episode number three. See you all later. God bless. Bye-bye.